<laughs> Go Buster! Buster and Cozy Coop are going to visit the farm. There's Terry Tractor moving hay bales. Buster introduces his new friend Cozy to Terry. Buster then wonders if there's anything they can do to help with the farm work. Terry has an idea. They can watch over all the sheep. Those sheep are mischievous and love to try and escape the farm. Buster and Cozy herd all the sheep into the field. That wasn't so hard, but uh-oh. Letty the lamb has seen something. A hole under the fence. Letty is leading the other sheep in an escape. There goes Letty. Buster and Cozy have noticed. They need to stop all the sheep getting away. Cozy's chasing after her. Buster is blocking the hole so no more sheep can escape. Where's Letty gone? Oh no, she's hiding in all these tunnels. And Cozy is chasing her. How will they catch her? Buster has a plan. He's got a net. Working together, they can catch Letty in no time. Whoops, Buster missed. Now she's behind Buster. She's jumping over him and... Oops! Buster caught Cozy instead. Letty is still running. Whoops! Buster caught Cozy again. This is no good. They'll never catch Letty like this. But what's Cozy see? Hay bales? I think they have a plan. They'll block all the holes with hay bales. So there's only one place Letty can go. There! They caught that cheeky sheep. Good job, Buster and Cozy. Terry is very impressed. But what's this? Letty is up to her old tricks, and she's dug another tunnel. Only this time, Buster and Cozy know what she's up to. Hey there, Buster. He's going for a drive with Scout. Look, there's Tony the delivery truck. Looks like Scout and Buster are going to follow Tony to see where he's going today. They're having so much fun together. <laughs> Silly Scout. Buster isn't paying attention to the road. Watch out, Buster. Whew, that was a close one. Pay attention, Buster. You nearly crashed into the back of Tony. Oh, look. There's a pothole in the road, and Tony is heading straight for it. Oh, no. The pothole has caused Tony's doors to unlock. Watch out, Buster and Scout. It looks like some of those boxes might tumble out. The boxes have started to fly out into the road. I don't think Tony has even noticed. And another box is about to fall out. Wow, quick thinking, Buster. Great catch. Here comes another one. Well done, Scout. Great work. Oh, no. Be careful, Scout. Scout has lost control and skidded off the road. Her box has gone flying up into that tree. Oh, look. Tony is going to have to stop at that red light. This will buy you some time. Quickly, Buster. You haven't got long to return the boxes. <laughs> nice thinking, Buster. Now all you need to do is work out how to load the boxes back where they belong. It looks like Scout has an idea. Great work, Scout. You can use that plank of wood as a ramp. There we go. A perfect place to unload the boxes. Great teamwork. <laughs> now you can close the doors, Buster. Just in time for the green light. Off Tony goes. I guess he'll never know how close he came to losing all of his boxes. Well done, Buster. Well done, Scout. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting. Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster, yellow, of course. Let's paint. Oops. Ash adds a red splat to match Scout's. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome! I wonder what Scout is painting first.
It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Busters go next. What's he going to paint? A bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful! That paint is very messy! Oh dear! They're getting paint everywhere! What a mess! Uh-oh! The yellow paint is all over the floor! And now the purple! Yikes! Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun! Uh-oh! They didn't realize they were making such a mess! But Buster has a plan! They can use Ash's hose to clear it up! The water is washing away the paint! Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! Ash is hosing Buster down! Splash! Now it's Scout's turn! And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash! Well done, everyone! Wow! The room looks completely clean! Time for Ash and Scout to head off home! Oops! Well, not completely! It's Buster's birthday! Mommy and Grandpa are setting up a very special party! Don't eat the food yet, Buster! You've got to wait until your guests arrive! Oh, look! Here they are! It's Scout, Ash, and Bandit! Everyone's so excited for the party! What's Bandit up to? Hmm, that cake looks yummy! Not yet, Bandit! First, we're playing party games! They're playing musical statues! They have to dance until the music stops! Great move, Scout! And freeze! Oh no! Scout is losing balance! And so is Buster! They are out of the game! It's only Bandit and Ash left. And dance! Bandit is losing balance! Oh no! He knocked Ash over so he could win. And now Ash is out of the game. But Grandpa didn't see Bandit cheating. Hmm, that wasn't very nice, Bandit. Now they're playing past the parcel. They pass the present, and when the music stops, they can take off the wrapping paper. Oh. Hooray for Ash! <gasps> Bandit has cheated again! He took the parcel after the music stopped! <laughs> Poor Ash! Bandit isn't playing very fair. Buster is telling Bandit that he's making Ash feel upset. He needs to think about how his actions affect the feelings of others. It's time for some birthday cake! Blow out the candles! Go, Buster! What a feast! All the delicious food has been eaten. Well, almost. Don't worry, Ash. Have some birthday cake. Bandit feels really bad for making Ash sad. Bandit is really sorry and gives Ash his ball back. It's okay, Bandit. Ash forgives you. 
But remember, it's not all about the winning. It's about having fun together. Buster's kindness saved the party. Happy birthday, Buster. Hello, Buster. That's a pretty looking flower. What a bright sunny day it is. Buster is very happy today. And look there, a nice juicy red apple. Better hurry, Buster, or you'll be late for school. The lesson has already started. Quick! Oh dear, I don't think the teacher is very happy with you being late, Buster. You better pay attention now to the lesson. Looks like today you're going to have to drive through the cones. <laughs> Here comes Robin. Pay attention, Buster. Don't get distracted. Oh dear. The teacher doesn't look happy at all. It's time to drive through the cones. Orange bus is going first. Slow and steady. That's it. The teacher looks pleased. Now it's your turn, Buster. Good luck. Whoa, slow down, Buster. You're knocking the cones over. Try and stay inside the cones. Oh dear, that's not what you were told to do. That will teach you for going too fast. The teacher is very disappointed. It's the end of school. Time for everyone to go home. I think Buster is sad that he didn't do what he was told in the lesson. Maybe he should go and say sorry to the teacher. The teacher looks really tired. It's been a long day for her, too. I think she could use some cheering up. Now what could you... The apple! Great thinking, Buster. That's very kind of you. And you've cheered up the teacher. Come on, Buster. You can do it this time. Slow and steady. That's right. You're concentrating and doing it really well, Buster. You did it! Nice work, Buster. Well done. I think Buster is sleeping again. Where are you, Buster? Look at all the giant colored balls and toys. It looks like a great place for an adventure. Let's see what else Buster can find. Wow! Look at that teddy bear. Look how big it is. He looks soft and cuddly. Aw, that's it, Buster. Have a nice big cuddle. He looks so cuddly. Oh no, Buster. What's that noise? It's a giant claw. Huh? I think Buster is inside a giant claw machine. Buster, watch out. It's going to get you. Ah! Go, Buster. Oh, no. Ah! <gasps> 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 Buster, it was just a bad dream. Look, it's Scout. It looks like Buster is still a bit shaken up. But you don't need to worry anymore, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Buster, Scout has something to show you. I wonder what it is. Oh no, it's a claw machine. Buster looks frightened. Scout's not scared of it. Maybe it's fun. Don't worry, Buster. Scout's with you. <gasps> Look, Buster, it's that teddy. Why don't you try and win it? Come on, Buster, just be brave. You can do it. Okay, Buster, let's get this teddy. Take it easy. That looks about right. Okay, here goes. Did you get it? Huh? What's that? Oh, it's a little yellow bus. That toy looks just like you, Buster. Uh -huh. <laughs> that makes Scout and Buster laugh. Buster has gotten over his fear of the claw machine now. It's sports day at Buster School. How exciting! First is the 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go! Go, Buster! He's the winner! Hooray! That was easy. Buster is the fastest in school. Next up, it's the high jump. Scout's up first. Scoot, scoot. Wow, that was awesome. Buster thinks he can beat that jump. Off he goes. Oops. Don't worry, Buster. He doesn't look very happy. 
Uh. It's the egg and spoon race next. <laughs> Get ready and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun. Hooray! Now they're all having fun together. It's time to present the medals. Buster is third, Ash is second, and Scout is first. Well done, everyone. What a brilliant day. It's Bandit. He's coming over to visit Buster today. Bandit is so excited. I wonder why. Wow, what a cool dinosaur, Buster. And Bandit has one, too. <laughs> They're off to play at the park. <laughs> They're having so much fun playing with their dinosaur toys. <laughs> but wait, what's that? Could it be a dinosaur? Buster and Bandit are using their imaginations to pretend they're on a dinosaur adventure. What was that? It's a T-Rex! Run! Go, go, go! How will they get across? Quick, the dinosaur is coming! Aha! Buster has his cowboy lasso! Go, Buster! But Bandit is a bit nervous! Come on, Bandit! You can do it! Bandit is facing his fears! Woo! Good job, Bandit! There's no way the T-Rex can reach them over here! Uh-oh! Or maybe it can! Look! They can hide behind that tree! Quick, Bandit! Wait a second! An egg? Oh! The T-Rex wasn't chasing them after all! It was looking for its egg! Oh no! It's heading towards that cliff! Quick, Buster! Phew! <laughs> the egg is safe now! The dinosaur is so grateful to Buster! <laughs> what a fun game! And it wasn't really a dinosaur! It was just Diggly! And he was looking for his ball! <laughs> Everyone loves playing dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! What a fantastic day playing at the park. Today, Buster and his family are having a picnic. Buster is so excited. Mommy Bus is off to get Grandpa. And whilst she's gone, Buster and Bandit need to prepare the picnic. First, they have to lay down the picnic blanket. Whoa, the wind has blown it away. It looks like a cape. It's Super Buster. Bandit wants a cape too. And it's a tug of war. Buster is imagining that he is a superhero. Super Buster flying through the sky. 
It's Bad Guy Bandit! Mwahaha! He's stolen the picnic! Oh no! Super Buster has got to save it! They are chasing through the sky! Go, Super Buster, go! You can catch him! Oh no! Bad Guy Bandit is aiming at Super Buster with his laser shapes! But Super Buster is too fast! Wow, look at him go! Hooray! Super Buster has saved the picnic! But what is that? It's a giant blue laser ball! Oh no! What is Super Buster going to do? Aha! He's using the flagpole as a bat! Bring it on, bad guy bandit! Great shot, Super Buster! Whack! <laughs> wow, that was such a fun game! But oh no, they've made a huge mess! And Mommy Bus and Grandpa are on their way! What are they going to do? Quick, they've got to clear it up! As superheroes, of course! Super Buster and Bad Guy Bandit are clearing up the city! Even superheroes need to clean up after themselves. <laughs> Just in time! Great teamwork, guys! <laughs> yum, yum! Delicious! And all that superhero work has left them very hungry. Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick, Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops, there's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew, that was lucky. Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa. Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout. What's Buster spotted? Oh, look, it's Diggly and Daisy. Buster wants to help. But safety first. Look at that awesome builder's hat. Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now, they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble! Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud! Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well! Daisy 
Daisy to the rescue. <gasps> nope, that didn't work. What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane. And he's pulling Buster out. It's working. Just a little bit more. Oops. Now they're all stuck. And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster! Jiggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. And that's it! Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. Well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. Now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to do. It looks like you're having fun splashing through the muddy puddles. You're getting mud everywhere. And who's this? It's Terry Tractor. He's being a little more careful than Buster. Buster is having so much fun zooming through all these puddles. Oh no! He's heading straight for Terry Tractor! You! That was a close one! Be careful, Buster! The puddles are very slippy! Oh dear! Terry Tractor is not happy with Buster! Off he goes again! Watch where you're going this time, Buster! <laughs> Watch out! Oh no! Buster is stuck! Silly Buster! What's he going to do now? The sun's going down, and it's getting dark. I hope Buster is going to be okay. Look, everyone, it's Terry Tractor. He's come to save the day. Terry doesn't look too happy about it, though. Please help Buster, Terry. He just needs one big push. Can't he do it? One, two, here we go! Oh, Buster! Thank goodness Terry Tractor is there to save the day! Bye, Terry! Bye, Buster! Hey there, Buster! Oh, wow, look at that! You're in the Wild West! <laughs> and check out your cowboy hat! That must be the sheriff with his shiny gold star! Oh, look! A lasso! <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Buster. Now you're a proper cowboy. There's Terry. Tip your hat, cowboy, and say hello. I don't think Terry looks too impressed. Wait. <gasps> it's Bandit Bus. And what's that on his back? A sack. I think he's robbed the sweet shop. What a villain he is. You must stop him, Buster. Quick, Buster. He's getting away. Chase after him. Wake up, Sheriff! There's a robber on the loose! They're speeding alongside the train tracks. Faster, Buster! You can't let Bandit escape! Wow! Bandit jumped in front of Suki the train! Wait for the train to pass and... Where did he go? Oh no! He's going the other way! That was sneaky! After him, Buster! Bandit is trying to lose Buster in the cactus field! Careful, Buster. Those are really spiky. You've almost caught him. Look out! Are you okay, Buster? Oh, no. The cactus has punctured your tire. 
Oh, no. You'll never catch him with a flat tire. Wait. Huh? Of course! <laughs> the lasso! Rope him up, Buster. One, two, three, go! Great! You did it! You caught Bandit! And here's Sheriff Otis. I'm sure he's really grateful. There. Bandit is in the jailhouse where he belongs. Oh, wow! Sheriff Buster. What an exciting dream that was! Happy trails, Buster! Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa! And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake! Grandpa has an idea! They should bake the cake together! Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients! Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar! Oh, who's that? It's Mira! Along with Terry! Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira! Uh-oh! Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa, they both want the same bag. Oops. Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first. Off he goes, Mira. Whoops! Mira, you spooked the teacher! <laughs> she grabbed some milk, too. Slow down, you guys! Whoa! It's Grandpa and Terry. Both of them move very slowly. You sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! There are the eggs! Oh no! Buster dropped the eggs! And... Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But oh no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf! Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar, and she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. 